Hi, everybody. Welcome to IOTAF's weekly crypto recap of week number six. On this week's edition, featuring headlines will include Visa's new plan toward cryptocurrency adoption, a look at CME Ethereum futures going live tonight, and also the Dodge coin saga continues. All right, so we're gonna go to the headlines. So Visa signal further crypto ambition with API pilot for bank customer to buy Bitcoin. So uh, Visa is working with Anchorage to uh, allow a customer uh, at traditional uh, banks to uh, buy and sell digital assets like Bitcoin. Uh, and uh, what they're mentioning here in their next phase is they would like to establish a bridge uh, with already the thousands of institutions across the world that they are already uh, uh, dealing with for their Visa credit card services. Uh, so uh, very interesting uh, news here uh, as Visa uh, unfolds uh, these uh, headlines every week. So uh, very positive for adoption. And uh, on a second news here, we have uh, Jeff Bezos steps down uh, from Amazon and uh, crypto curious Andy Jassy to become new Amazon CEO. So uh, with this change of CEO, um, uh, we're, we're going to have a look at uh, the developments, but uh, Andy Jassy already uh, 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 had the released blockchain product in the past. Uh, so uh, very interesting news here to see uh, what will happen with Amazon. Will they come with their own cryptocurrency eventually? Uh, this is all to follow up, but it opens uh, doors with uh, uh, Handy uh, that will take uh, the place of uh, CEO Jeff Bezos. So uh, another uh, positive news and uh, also uh, Bitwise plans to launch a public Bitcoin fund. Uh, so another uh, fund uh, will see uh, probably the light uh, pretty soon uh, from Bitwise. And uh, this fund uh, will be, uh, will be uh, managed by Fidelity Digital Assets uh, as a custodian. So um, Bitwise already had that 10 crypto index fund, uh, BITW, uh, that debuted it uh, in uh, early uh, December. Uh, so uh, now next step as they want to launch a Bitcoin fund, this is also uh, positive news uh, towards adoption. So the next news is a bit more negative. Uh, Nigeria central bank orders cryptocurrencies account to close. So uh, now uh, cryptocurrencies exchange uh, transaction are now prohibited uh, in Nigeria. Uh, so the central bank also sent a memo to all uh, the financial institution uh, on uh, Friday uh, that uh, failure to comply will uh, inflict a very uh, severe regulatory sanction. So um, this is for sure uh, not good for Nigeria. Uh, and um, some of you might know that uh, uh, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange is launching uh, Ethereum futures uh, tonight uh, in about a few hours. Uh, so uh, just this news, I chose it as uh, Ethereum crashed 10% uh, uh, a day before uh, institution can short it on the CME uh, futures. Uh, so the, uh, the uh, Ethereum market also uh, uh, took a turn to the worse uh, as uh, all uh, the crypto market has been plunging uh, pretty much across the board uh, since uh, the past, uh, I would say, 24 hours almost. And uh, let's have a look uh, at what happened uh, when uh, the Bitcoin futures on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange uh, were launched. So uh, this was uh, on the first three days as uh, these are three days candlestick. So uh, we saw that uh, it, it kind of plunged and uh, kind of also uh, we started uh, the, the bear market of uh, 2018 uh, around that, that time. Uh, so um, we're, we're gonna follow uh, through what will happen with Ethereum, uh, but uh, it already plunged and uh, it might uh, plunge more on, on uh, the, the open uh, tonight. 
So on the next headline, uh, the Dodge Coin uh, Army uh, saga continues. So now uh, we had uh, Snoop Dogg and Gene Simmons that joined Elon Musk's uh, Dodge Coin Army. Uh, Gene Simmons already uh, uh, tweeted about uh, Dodge uh, the previous week on the, the first uh, Wall Street bet pump. Uh, so now uh, what is this news mentioning is uh, that uh, actually Gene Simmons bought more Dogecoin. It was uh, also a tweet uh, that was seen uh, yesterday. Uh, and uh, later, also on the same day, uh, uh, rapper Snoop Dogg uh, changed his, uh, his uh, Twitter name to, instead of Snoop Dogg, he wrote Snoop Dodge. So uh, they are uh, supporting... Uh, this uh, dodge here, kind of a funny meme here that became, uh, as it was first, uh, just Elon Musk holding uh, dodge, uh, but now we have Elon holding uh, Gene and Gene holding Snoop and Snoop holding uh, dodge. So uh, that was uh, tweeted by uh, Elon Musk. Uh, we don't know, uh, <laughs> kind of funny, but uh, we don't know uh, if uh, this is all serious or uh, it's just uh, to have a uh, kind of fun as uh, Dodge has no exactly use case so far. It was more created for fun back in 2013. But if we have a look at the daily chart, uh, it's been going up and um, uh, that huge wick was uh, the sell off on the, the Wall Street uh, bets uh, retail trader pump. And uh, we see now that it came all the way back uh, there at the time of writing of these, this article. Uh, but let's have a look uh, at uh, the Dodge uh, chart uh, just to uh, see on a closer time frame what is going on. So uh, as you guys seen uh, last week when I've uh, published uh, this chart, uh, uh, the WSB chairman talks about pumping Dodge to $1. So we saw that huge rally and then it came uh, back with a big sell-off. And this is kind of the, the, the important level uh, to notice on the time frame of four hour for this pump. Uh, so we see here that uh, Gene Simmons wrote on Twitter, uh, yep, I bought even more Dodge. So uh, we saw Dodge uh, uh, increasing and when Snoop Dogg became Snoop Dodge, then uh, we saw it broke that uh, important level. And uh, it's now even uh, cruising on higher, uh, close to the, uh, the high it went uh, last week. Uh, so we're gonna have to uh, continue monitoring this as uh, Dodge uh, uh, could, uh, could go up and could go down very fast like it did here, depending on the support that it gets from other celebrities or, uh, or uh, tweets from Elon Musk, especially has been uh, helpful. So con con uh, for mining uh, related news, uh, we had uh, this news uh, that uh, came out earlier this week that uh, Ukraine considers building a Bitcoin mining center based on a nuclear power plant. So uh, the, the, the Ukraine Ministry of Energy uh, had mentioned that uh, since, you know, this area close to nuclear power plant are, uh, are uh, vacant, then they are considering to build a big uh, mining center and uh, utilize uh, the country's nuclear power uh, to run this. So uh, very interesting news uh, from the Ukraine uh, Ministry of Energy. Uh, and uh, related to mining also, we have uh, the Bitcoin mining firm BitDigital that removed the CEO and that the chairwoman uh, resigned. Uh, so uh, this uh, change become uh, uh, in line with the class action lawsuit uh, against a mining company that uh, was made, I mentioned uh, two weeks ago uh, in a previous uh, recap. Uh, so uh, Bit Digital uh, uh, is uh, changing uh, the CEO and the chair, the chair lady. So uh, let's see what will happen here. Uh, but uh, so far, we're going to have a look at uh, their chart after. Uh, it's been uh, it's been uh, holding a, a, a certain level. And uh, also related to uh, Bitcoin mining, 
Uh, we have Bitcoin Miner, Argo Blockchain that just bought 172.5 BTC in January. Uh, so uh, some uh, a lot of companies are doing so now in uh, investing um, uh, some uh, part of their cash into uh, cryptocurrencies. And the best example uh, to uh, to notice, as I've mentioned in some of my past videos, is a micro strategy that is now one of the biggest uh, holder uh, uh, institution that holding BTC. Uh, so let's go to uh, the charts of um, those uh, blockchain mining company. Uh, so Argo here um, that has bought uh, more BTC. Uh, we see it on the one day here. It uh, kind of uh, hold uh, help holding now the hundred uh, moving average on the daily. Uh, so uh, they all have seem to have this kind of formation uh, for all these uh, mining company stocks. But uh, of course, uh, with the bad news of Bit Digital, it seems that this one uh, uh, didn't have uh, exactly uh, the same bounce. Uh, though there was one here, but it was sell, sold off in the same day. So uh, we really need a turnaround of news here for Bit Digital uh, to hold this uh, 0 0.5 uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement level. As if not, it could go all the way back uh, to uh, uh, to uh, seven dollars uh, or so, uh, depending on uh, what will happen uh, with the lawsuit. Uh, so to continue on with mining, uh, the Bitcoin uh, mining difficulty was adjusted uh, two days ago. Uh, so uh, an increase of uh, almost 3%. Uh, so uh, the ash rate continues to grow and uh, also uh, the difficulty continues to rise. So it's getting more and more uh, hard for, uh, for miners out there uh, with the same speed as they're getting less of BTC. So to continue on with mining, uh, here's a look at uh, the MPI, the Miners Position Index. So uh, Miners uh, Position in MPI are under uh, close to one right now. So uh, Miners are not exactly selling as heavy as they've been for the past month. Uh, we can see it on to the glass node, the uh, Miners Net Position Change. So uh, we can see from these red bars that uh, uh, since uh, 28th of December, uh, miner have been um, selling heavy, uh, and uh, that recently uh, this uh, kind of uh, dropped uh, less than half. And uh, but uh, the the price is still uh, wasn't so affected uh, at that moment. I mean, as when we saw the top at uh, 40,000, of course, then uh, the the miners uh, selling pressure. Uh, got pretty intense uh, to those levels, uh, but now we see a bit of uh, miners uh, selling uh, relief a bit. So um, we will see what will happen, but this is positive for a continuance of uh, BTC uh, over 40K as it went there just yesterday. So uh, on uh, on-chain analysis here also, just wanted to you guys notice that uh, uh, on uh, February 3rd, we had a huge spike of, uh, of uh, USD Tether inflows. So a total of 3.3 uh, billion, uh, almost 3.4 billion uh, entered the uh, crypto exchange on that day. Uh, now it came down a bit, uh, but that's why I think we saw a really uh, increase of price uh, on uh, BTC uh, during uh, the past few days. So uh, on the on the minor on the exchange inflows of BTC, uh, so uh, not huge spikes here. Uh, so uh, yeah, there was some more uh, on uh, on February fourth, so three days ago. But uh, now it's been going down. So the inflows are not to worry about for now. But uh, we still see uh, selling pressure as we went over forty k. And we came back down. Uh, now we're holding just a bit under 30, uh, 38.5k. Uh, so uh, the weekly close will be uh, very important here. Uh, when we look at Bitcoin on the weekly, it kind of looked good on, on that level. Uh, 
uh, but uh, this will be adjusted uh, during the daily close and I would like at least uh, if we could uh, close uh, a bit over uh, these uh, these uh, weekly close that were done here around the top um, uh, that would be uh, definitely positive for me uh, but uh, if we look at the daily um, I uh, kind of uh, really didn't like that uh, wick on that uh, daily close that we had yesterday. Uh, so just under that uh, level uh, of, uh, of uh, previous resistance here of the, the deviation that we saw over after, over 40K. So uh, we're, we're gonna follow this through, but uh, so far um, uh, Bitcoin is looking better than it was in the past, uh, the, the last week, but uh, we're going to have to uh, see what will happen uh, in the coming days. All right, guys, so uh, this concludes uh, this extract of this weekly crypto recap of week number five. If you guys enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel as I post this weekly. Uh, and also my colleagues uh, have uh, different videos on uh, uh, other stock markets and uh, macro data. So uh, a lot to learn from you guys if you subscribe to our channel. And also please a like uh, will always be appreciated from your part. All right. Have a good weekend and uh, see you guys next time.